They are calling it a health care crisis all across the tri-state region as more and more hospitals plan to close. And here in West Virginia, a lot of medical professionals serve in the legislature and they are offering some possible solutions. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. Fairmont Regional Medical Center is the latest in the tri-state to announce plans to close. At least a dozen hospitals in West Virginia, Ohio, and Kentucky have either closed their doors or are in danger of doing so. Most are in rural areas. West Virginia's legislature has six doctors and numerous other medical professions who were elected. Many are sharing their ideas on how to keep the hospitals open, including by improving reimbursements. It's about the compensation. And again, 1.1 million of 1.8 million West Virginians are either covered by Medicare, Medicaid, uh, or PEIA, and they do not pay the full cost of delivering the service. Another idea is to find mergers for smaller rural medical facilities. House Majority Leader Amy Summers is an emergency room nurse. What's happened in my city of Grafton, the hospital was facing financial, financial problems, and so they partnered with Mon General, who came down, is supporting them in their management and helping us be able to keep our little hospital alive. Coincidentally, it was Nurses' Day at the West Virginia State Capitol. One visiting nurse from Fairmont is likely to lose her job in the latest closure. She's concerned for patients. Communities out there that will not have the facility that's 20 minutes away, they'll have to be going an hour to 45 minutes away. Some are hoping WVU Medicine might jump in and buy the Fairmont Hospital. With just two weeks left in the legislative session, it's uncertain how much lawmakers can get involved in the hospital issue. Of course, there's always the possibility of coming back here for a special session. At the State Capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Now there, now, there is some urgency here. And this afternoon, Governor Jim Justice flew to Fairmont with two members of the House of Delegates and a state senator from the area so that they could meet with Fairmont Regional Medical Center leaders and discuss ways to save the facility. Governor Justice says he understands this is a business decision, but will work with hospital officials to do whatever it takes to keep a hospital in Marion County.